So the sun is up now. Now we're going into the, the A4 pod. This is uh, your standard South Pole birthing unit. And again, we're only on the first floor here. Here's my desk. I think they're all pretty much the same length. What's up guys? It is minus 53.7 outside with 13 mile an hour winds giving us a minus 86.8 wind chill and elevations 10, 6, 8, 7. So we're gonna head outside real quick. Let me grab my radio. Can't forget that. Yeah, so we'll take a quick walk out here. So I've got my balaclava, my neck gaiter, I'm gonna zip my jacket up. So I'm gonna take you guys, here's the end of the A-pod, and we're gonna walk, see if we can walk over there. To the end of the A4 pod, or up these stairs. So this is the A1 pod. We'll head over to the A4 pod. Man, look at all that snow. So the sun is up now. Um, still, we haven't really seen it. Um, it hasn't been. You know, the weather is still a little bit cloudy. Yeah, so we'll just take a little walk around this giant hill right here of snow. I can't believe this thing. I mean, this blew in. This is going to take like a week to clear out. It's like a giant sand dune. You can see all the snow here piled up. Look how big this thing is. So yeah, that's the elevated station. There's like a little walking path here. Let's see if we can make it. Snow's pretty compact. It's not too, uh, not too soft and not sinking in very much. So we were just over there and we walked around. And now we're going into the, the A4 pod. So currently this one is uh, empty. Here's my footprints. Look at this giant thing, it's huge. It's like 20 feet tall. But yeah, this is an empty birthing pod. All we've got here is just some inventory stuff for the store. So yeah, it's our little path. That's where we were, right there, where we started. So much light out here. It's crazy, a week ago, it was still dark. Let's head in. There we are. Inside now. Get out. This is what uh, the birthing wings look like. Most of these doors are locked because we've got some stuff in them. This is uh, your standard South Pole birthing unit. This is the entrance here. A 
we've got uh, some mattresses being replaced currently. It's kind of like a giant donut as we get down here. This is where we just were, where we came in. So that's the door. And we went through that door and we walked around and we've come down this way. So let's see. Right, this one's open. So this is what an A4 room looks like. So most of these are pretty standard. Your door's got a couple hooks. You got a little red fire alarm panel up there to let you know if there's an emergency. You got a thermostat, a closet with some hangers, a mirror here, a mirror there. Three drawers. The first one isn't as deep as these bottom two, but plenty of room for all your stuff. You got your regular US outlet right there too. And then you have eight over here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, and another two up there. This is your bed. So again, we have our closet. Here's the bed. Some linens, a mattress. This is gonna get replaced with a newer memory foam one. A little shelf right here. And a small little desk. A phone, a light. A nice little chair. Yeah, it's comfy. So I'm not gonna go back outside, but I will take you guys um, through the through back to the the A1 pod on the first floor. And again, we're only on the first floor here of the elevated station. So let's see here. We've got this little drawer in here. Nice desk. You got a drawer here. Little little guy. Again, the top one is not as deep as the bottom two. That's about it. There's your window, your light, vent for air, smoke detector, another vent. And this guy here is a cord that'll stretch. Looks like all the way here. So you can hang hang some clothes. A lot of people use this thing for uh, for pictures and they'll hang like clothespin uh, pictures on there. But yeah, that's about it. Um, this is a, an A4 room, so this is not as big as uh, my room so why don't we actually go and see my room and then we can compare it to an empty room so this is a little bit smaller um, not by too much maybe like half of a, a ceiling tile there's three full ones here um, one two and three and I think my room has three and a half ceiling tiles um, Typically, these ones at the end of the birthing units are bigger. So. All right. Guess we can go ahead and take this down. is all stuck in here. Oh. There, some light. So yeah, this is where we walked in and we came up these stairs and through this door. 
So again, right now this entire birthing one is birthing unit is empty. There's no one living in here. Most everybody lives in the B pod or where I live in the A1 pod. So let's uh, let's go over there and check it out. So we're not exiting. women's bathroom, men's bathroom, and then there's the entrance to the birthing. Three days left until the station opens. All right, so here's the A1 pod. Pretty much same layout. Women, men's bathroom. Hey, buddy. Family tour. We always follow the door shut so it's not so loud. We don't want to wake anybody up. Some people are sleeping right now. It's only 6 p.m. 7 actually. A little bit after 7 p.m. 1900. All right. So we're back in my room. Turn the lights on and get this jacket off. I'm starting to sweat. All right, so my room is a little bit kind of custom. Um, I've got one set of drawers here. Sorry, there's not so much light. Um, but anyways, yeah, I've got a wooden shoe holder here. I've got a bigger closet with no drawers at the bottom and nothing inside, just empty. I got a mirror here and a mirror on the other side. My shirt's hanging up. There's the other mirror there. And yeah, here's my desk. So much bigger desk than uh, that other one we saw that was just like a piece of this got my chair got the uh, the drawer here drawer here drawer here with some snacks and goodies and drawer here with some snacks and goodies there's my chair and they've got the uh, one two three here so there's that is also there as well um, and I've got this custom shelf, wooden shelf guy in, in lieu of where my window is. Here's my bed frame. However, I don't like sleeping this high because I'm paranoid that I will fall off at night. So I keep my bed on the floor. I will have to put it back up here before I leave. But yeah, that's my room. So let's actually count. The room we were just in was three ceiling tiles wide. One, two, three. This one is four. So I actually had a leak in uh, in the roof here earlier this season. So my room is pretty large compared to the rest of the rooms. One, two, three, four ceiling tiles across. I think they're all pretty much the same length. Um, so let me go show you what one of these rooms looks like with no furniture. room is here at A1-124 and we're gonna go right here to A1-123. This room is empty. Oh, 
All right, so just like the other one, we've got hooks on the wall and we've got a closet. Just like mine, no drawers or anything, just a straight up closet. Mirror on each, each one there. So this room has two uh, little nightstand type thingies. Um, my room only has one. Nice long desk. This room also has two drawers, two dressers. Got the bed here, a little bit lower than mine. Headboard and shelf. This room also had a little leak in it as well. But yeah, and actually, this room looks like it's maybe just a few inches shorter, but we still have four ceiling tiles across. However, I think there's a little bit more of a gap uh, at the end in mine. So there's no window in this room. This is like a little cave. Here's your, your heater. And for those that can't get in the bed in one go, that's what this guy is for. You stand on it and then you can get in your bed like so. So yeah, if you were to roll off at night, you'd obviously fall pretty far. And then you step down and get off. The static electricity here is crazy. I think you just heard that shock. Um, here's another little cord here for drying. But yeah, this is your typical A1 room. Um, if you don't get a corner room, your room will either be in the middle like this or it'll be like mine with a window on the edges. Um, here's the, the configuration. So you've got your desk and chair here, the little rolling desk drawer, two dressers, your bed, your bed shelf, and the long wardrobe. So long wardrobe, bed, bed shelf, two dressers, little desk roller drawer thing and your desk so this is extra probably going to go back in someone else's room later on so obviously thermostat as well just turn that down i don't know why it's on doesn't need to be warm in here lights off pitch black So this is a community storage room here. And that means that anyone who lives around this room can put anything extra that doesn't fit in their room. So this is A1122, let's go check it out. All right, so here we are, um, pretty much the same same layout there's actually somebody who lives across this wall so i kind of want to be a bit quieter but you can see it's storage so there's just some stuff piled up here's some luggage some more luggage down there but again same furniture in every room your desk long wardrobe roller desk we've got the uh the chair there's a little pull out drawer bed shelf up here thermostat got our hooks here pretty much the exact same configuration got a mirror here hello so that's how we live in these rooms you have eight plugs and then two up there and two down here. And these are all standard US plugs. Got a phone, Ethernet cables, but we do have access points 
in the hallway for Wi-Fi action. Let me show you. Yeah, um, I guess my room is pretty much the same size as the others. People were telling me this year it's like six inches longer, but I guess that's because of this little corner piece here. But uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I think it's pretty much the same size. Maybe there's a lip here. I can't remember if it's in the other room or not, but that's what these rooms here are at South Pole are like. This is the A1. Typically everybody lives here in the winter. Um, in the summer, people are in the A4 and the B pod, but everyone wants to come here in the winter and get a bigger room. So, and I don't blame them. I mean, there are those other rooms with that tiny desk, pretty small. So that's gonna do it for this video. Um, Thanks for coming along with me, and I will see you guys another time. Um, today is the 25th of September, Monday, so um, the sun is up. It's been up for four days now, so hopefully we'll actually see some rays soon. And got about another month left until the first planes come. So thank, thank you all for watching um, this video here at the South Pole Station in... Antarctica. So y'all take care. See you in the next one. Bye.